Hello and welcome to Timmy's 10 again for an unboxing of a fast bed hauler by Hot Wheels. And today from the Hot Wheels Metro series, I'm doing another fast bed hauler. This is a 2021, I believe. Uh, last one I did, uh, was it yellow? I think it was yellow. It really don't matter the color. But I did get a comment a couple days ago and I told them I would do a video of another one because he wants to know how to hold the car on. How do you, how do you keep it on there? All right, so let's see if we can get this rolling and if the car stays on or not. We're going to do this together, though, because I really don't recall if uh, I didn't watch the video again and I didn't uh, I don't recall how well we did with the flatbed itself. So let's open it up. Let's look at the back first. 20, 20 copyright. And there's your special feature of the sliding ramp. Boom, nice pop open. Not too shabby. All right, not that heavy. This is the metal right here. All this, and it is black fly season right now. So I got the, a head net on. Believe it or not, I'm originally a city boy, but it is beautiful out. And that's how it moves like that. This is all plastic, and this is plastic, and that worries me because that would make me think it's going to break if I leave it around. Plastic, plastic. Hello, Julia. Hi. My daughter, Julia, joining us. Plastic bottom, made in Malaysia. So we've got black, we got chrome. The chrome is not chrome, it's plastic. So the only metal you really have that we can see is this right here. You can't even see in the windows for driving because they're mirrored. All right, let's see. How it rolls first. All right, Julia, don't let me forget. We got to test out this car on there. How can you make that stay on there when we roll it? Okay. All right. All right, let's see how it rolls first. Pretty good, pretty good. Whoa, you didn't even do nothing, did you? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it is a pretty good roller. All right, now for the big test. We pull it out like that. I'm supposed to do the sound effects, I think. I think Chris would appreciate the sound effects. Ready? Let's start all over. All right, ready? We got an engine coming by right now. Oh, it's a motorcycle. We can pretend. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's take the ramp out. Stay still. You hold it right there, Julia. Yes. Because I don't want to put my arm in the way when I'm showing. Then we'll take this car and we'll roll it up. Mm. Well, hello there, Reginald. Um, keep going, Reg. So that's how we get it up there. It obviously does not fit perfectly, but look, if you put the... Let me hold this. If you put the back wheels right in that right there, and then when you close it, you don't close it all the way because the car wouldn't fit if you didn't like that. You kind of snug it in there. See? So when you roll it, it'll at least stay on. You know? I don't know about if I held it upside down. Oh, uh, yeah. See, if it's over, it'll fall off. But this is what we do. We kind of slide back to there. When you have no cargo, no car on it, then you put it all the way in. All right. So this is how you keep it on. You First, you, you put the back wheels in these spots for the back wheels. And then very carefully push in until it's snug up against the smokestacks there. All right, Jules, ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've ever driven a flatbed or a hauler that hauls cars, you'll know this looks better. This is kind of cool looking. But if that was a fact, You'd get in trouble by the boss because see this engine? Engine's under here and it's hanging over here. It would just, it could, it could flip the truck in a bad situation. If it was going uphill or something, it couldn't, you know? So you always want to pull frontwards unless you have one of those really huge flatbeds and that's different. But thank you everybody that tuned in and checked this out. Please subscribe to Timmy's 10 again. And let me see if we can get a nice clear shot of that right there. With no dogs barking. Julia, thanks for coming up and yep. helping me play. 
We're going to do some spin outs now with the red one. I've been waiting to see how good I can make that Civics uh, do some drifting. We still got to do a drift party out back. Yes. Got to do it with one of you guys who are out there helping me though. Well, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Till next time. Oops. T10 out. Bye.